Hey there, YouTube's right. I'm gonna do a BIOS update video. Let's try and do this pretty quick. Uh, just to check to see what your BIOS is currently, type in a uh, system. You can either sysinfo, system information. Uh, the second you hit that, you know, third letter though, it usually pops up up here. Hit enter. That brings this up. Now we want to expand this so we can actually read it. I don't have the drivers for my graphics card on here, so it's probably. Uh, making the screen a little smaller than I'd like it. So here is the BIOS version, 1009, and uh, this is from January 2022. Today is September 4th, 2022. All right, so now we know our BIOS version. Let's search for the motherboard, ASUS Prime B4, B660M-ACD4. Uh, if you have another similar motherboard, you would want to, uh, you could follow along with this, but make sure you search for the right motherboard that matches yours. All right, so here's ours. Click on it. And I'm going to blow this up. Sure. So when we come in here, a couple places you'll see support. We don't want this one. We want this one right here. And I'm going to shrink this a little bit. All right. So before we get into this, uh, one thing you guys might want to know is, hey, what CPUs are compatible? And for that matter, memory as well. But uh, CPUs. So you can see all the 12th gen are listed. Uh, Potentially, they're all here. Let's see. Is KS here? I don't know if I missed it. but uh, So all these are good with the original BIOS, right? Shortly, 13th Gen's coming out within a couple months of this video, supposedly. Yeah, they don't have the 12900 KS on here. Um, but this is where you would go. And over here, if... There was a uh, new CPU and what BIOS version it works with. So the when 13th comes out, it's not going to work correctly with the original BIOS. You would have to do an update. All right. So from there, folks, uh, let's go back to drivers and tools. Click on BIOS and firmware, and then we should have to expand this out. See all downloads. All right, so we go all the way to the bottom. This is the one that uh, our, is on our motherboard right now, okay? The original one. Is that the original? Nope. Here's the original. So some of you may have this one, 0405. Uh, I bought mine in August, and so we have 1009. Now, you always want to read through these descriptions and make sure that uh, none of them say, hey, you need to install this one first before you do the most current one. And so far, nothing is in here. So Asus, Gigabyte, all those guys, they do a good job of keeping these BIOSes updated. Some of the crappier companies, ASRock, BIOSTAR, you might not get as much customer support. Um, you know, it always kind of scares me when you see this amount of BIOS that uh, there's some problems. But there's a lot of stuff that can come up. Uh, hardware compatibility, security, and other things as well. So looking pretty good, you know, system stability here. And then, boom. This is the one we're going to go with, version 1620. This should set you up for uh, 13th gen, all right? So we're going to click download. And I'm going to open that folder there. Right mouse click to extract all. And then we have to, I don't know why we have to do this, but um, double click on this. Press any key to continue. And voila, we have our uh, BIOS file here, okay? Now, Thumb drive. We've got a few in here. You want to make sure yours is uh, NTFS.
All right, so a lot of times, you know, it's a good idea to not have a bunch of files or anything else on your thumb drive. I've got three folders in here which do have some files on it, but it uh, it should work all the same. Where it can get uh, certain BIOS, it can get kind of confusing when you have a lot of folders in there. Um, or if you're like me, you may have a ton of different BIOS update folders on there. So we... Uh, Taking the uh, the zipped unzip file, hitting copy, right mouse click, paste, <coughs> and then there's our folder. Okay, so we have everything we want now. Something you might want to do is check the weather. Uh, make sure you know there's no storms that could knock your power out. If it's uh, 120 degrees out, and there's a chance you could have a rolling blackout or brownout, um, or if you know, hey. You're in California and they're telling you not to charge your Tesla today during the daytime. Uh, you know, might be a bad idea to do your BIOS update. Um, why is that? Well, if the power goes out in the middle of your BIOS update, you could break your motherboard, right? Now, I'm doing this. I just got mine from Amazon a couple weeks ago. It's, uh, you know, still returnable. Uh, how the manufacturers will deal with uh, you trying to return a brick motherboard if it's within warranty period, I can't tell you. Um, now, I've done hundreds if not thousands uh, or more of these BIOS updates and I have yet to brick one, uh, knock on wood. Uh, but it does happen. You'll see in the comments of my more popular BIOS update videos that uh, people do sometimes brick them. All right, let's, uh, let's reboot this thing. So when I reboot this, most likely it's the delete key or F2 will get us into the BIOS. I'm just going to hit both of them. We should see on the screen here shortly. Uh, it should tell us what the exact key is. I do so many of these, you'd think I'd have it memorized. So I'm using a capture card. There it is, delete or F2. Okay. I'm using a uh, video capture card with another computer. Uh, I've got a mixer hooked up and microphone, all that good stuff. And here we are in the BIOS. So uh, in case you're wondering how I am able to record these videos. So we want, uh, there's multiple ways to do this. We're going to go to the advanced menu and tool. And Asus Easy Flash Utility. And so this is where, like I said, it can get kind of confusing. We have uh, only two drives, and yet it's showing all this other crap, right? So one of these is the uh, is going to be it. Probably the last one. There it is. So this is why you, if you want to know your motherboard, this is the folder that the file went into. And there's our file. Please back up your BitLocker, blah, blah, blah. Do you want to read this file? Yes. Do you want to update the files? Yes. All right. So it's doing its thing. At this point, you know, step away from the uh, computer. You don't want to touch the uh, the mouse. I uh, have done a lot of these BIOS updates. They usually take, you know, 12 to 15 minutes. So there's no editing that is being done here. Uh, I did pause the screen for a moment um, so I could move some files around on my USB. But uh, other than that, this video is pretty much not edited. So if you're able to file along, then uh, this is pretty much how long it's going to take you. You know, you, you could do it a little faster uh, if you cut out, you know, some of the, the talking. But like I said, not a bad idea to check the weather, um, whether it means walking outside or, or checking weather.com. Now, I am updating this BIOS to basically make another video out of it. It's, it's one of the ways, obviously, I make uh, money that enables me to buy more gear. You may find after looking at all those BIOS revisions that you do not need to actually update your BIOS. 
if potentially it said, you know, uh, fixed or added RAM speeds or fixed issues with RAM, and one of the things you were having problems with is your RAM speed or RAM compatibility, then that BIOS update might help you to do that, right? But, uh, you know, for right now, unless you're getting ready for 13th gen, there wasn't a whole lot of reasons to update the BIOS. And they did not have the i9-12900KS listed. Uh, I'm sure it is probably compatible. Uh, but, you know, obviously if you buy a CPU like that, who's going to buy this motherboard to pair with it? That doesn't really make a lot of sense. But uh, that would be, you know, potentially another reason to, to update the BIOS to make that compatible. Uh, assuming it is compatible with this motherboard, you'll find most of the motherboards out there that when you look at the CPUs that are compatible, it will say every single 12th gen, but the i9-12900KS requires a BIOS update. Um, Asus seems to be a little behind on that, though they are cranking out their BIOS revisions quite steadily. I did do a BIOS overview video if you want to check that out. Unboxing, uh, installation as well. Installed this uh, CPU with a Thermaltake Tough Air 110 and the RAM that's in here, as well as a little power supply. Uh, um, all right, so probably going to reboot once, maybe twice. Uh, so you'll want to stay away from the mouse still until it finishes its thing. Uh, surprised it wants us to enter F1 again, but all right. Usually that happens, you know, a lot of times on the first setup. Um, now, since we're in here, folks, things that uh, I sometimes forget to tell people. One thing you need to do at this point, if you've got RAM that you can overclock, you can see this is disabled. If you noticed earlier in the video, when I first came in here, it was enabled. Uh, so we want to enable it again because otherwise we're running our RAM at 2133 instead of uh, 4000 some megahertz same thing could happen with your boot priority if you have you know two three four drives maybe multiple ones have operating systems on it uh, this may change around so you could drag around your folders but uh, other than that you see here BIOS version 1620 that's the most up to date and we are good to go Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.